The following is a public service announcement from the National Suicide Prevention Service. Hi, I'm Dennis Wingo from the Suicide Prevention Service. If you're like me, the only time you ever think that life might not be worth living is when some sign on a bridge tells you that it is. Regardless, a lot of you out there have benefited from our call service over the years. But in recent times, we've noticed a spike in calls which we do not consider to be emergency situations. Although we here at the NSPS are sorry to hear that your local Chuck E. Cheese closed down, or that the bag of Jelly Belly jelly beans that you bought included too many black licorice and buttered popcorn flavors. And although we understand, these are not what we consider to be legitimate emergencies. In fact, after hearing one man rant about his devastation over how his DVD box set of the Christopher Lowell Show did not include audio commentary, we realized that not all lives are worth saving. So in order to keep the phone lines open for cuckolded spouses and failed stockbrokers, we're cutting our process down to two simple questions. Just listen here to an example. Hello, Suicide Hotline. Okay, well, I understand, but uh, I don't have time for this, so I only have two questions for you. Does anybody love you? No! Okay, well, does anybody rely on you for their well-being? No! No! Okay, then it sounds like your life is pretty empty and meaningless, so yeah, go for it. Just off yourself. Thank you for calling the suicide hotline. So there you have it, folks. Our simplified process, perfectly executed by one of our apathetic operators. Look, we get it. Life is tough out there, but we don't have time to listen to your every complaint. So somebody stole your identity. Try to look on the bright side. Maybe they'll make something of your life. But either way, leave us the heck out of it. This message was sponsored in part by Tide Pods. Mmm, Tide Pods. Now that's good eating.